I mean. So I can just straight up consume this. Yeah, you can just bite this lemon balm. Yeah. So I would say humans are a part of nature. We're a really interesting aspect of it. Um, just evolutionary, like speaking. But um, I'm a big fan of plants. <laughs> that's like how I've made my living all of my life. Um, and that's really what I was raised to like focus on. And so I say I interact with plants every day, um, throughout the day. My room is covered in them, um, gardening, farming. How do you enjoy the mountains on a daily basis? Yeah, so for the mountains, I'm a big fan of climbing. Um, I haven't been able to be climbing due to an injury, so the thing that I've been like resorting back to is a lot of foraging. Um, I was raised to forage, and I'm a licensed forager in Iowa, and so I really love to go up in the mountains and just find what I can. I was up there on Sugarloaf like three days ago and I found an illegal hunting trap. So I set that off. Um, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a time I was completely immersed in nature. Yes. So I moved down to Mexico, southern Mexico, when I was 16. Um, I just told my parents I was going to go and I bought a ticket and I moved down there. Um, That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a really good time. Um, and it was beautiful. I love the culture, but I went down, I studied their farming um, methods. I studied sustainability a little bit. This wasn't like in a classroom, this was just out in the world. Right. Um, the impact of climate change on coffee. Um, and I also was studying marine biology. So a lot of work with sea turtles. But I got my dive license when I was there and I took a trip down to Honduras for like a weekend. And um, I was on a deep sea dive and I like went backwards off the boat. It was just me in the water. And I remember getting down to the certain point where I looked up and I looked down and I looked all around me and everything was the same shade of blue surrounding me. Um, and like a lot of divers break at that point and they freak out because humans aren't used to not having any sense of direction. Right. Um, and I remember just feeling like the most serene I've ever felt. <laughs> I was like, yes, I don't know which way is up. This is great. Right. Um, and I just felt really literally submerged in nature right. but also submerged so because it's all around me it's truly all around you everything is there's nothing yes. there's no influence of mankind yeah and it all took that wake-up call litter, right? yeah, yeah of like being alone in the ocean hundreds of feet under the water to be like oh okay this is all around me all of the time i'm just not seeing it right um and then i blew bubbles and then i knew which way was up <laughs> yeah it's yeah. I mean, it's a trend. Nature's a really big trend here. Oh, which right. is, is like, is, all right, go for it. Right. Like, no. enjoy it, but just don't burn yourselves out on it. Um, the opposite of nature. I was working the National Poetry Slam in Denver in August, and I remember walking down the street in Denver and just like losing my shit. <laughs> Can I swear on this? Yeah, no, no, it's totally Okay, fun I was like story. losing my shit, like walking down the street. I was like, I don't like cities. I was raised in a super tiny farming town, and half the time I was like, outside um so walking down the street i just remember like looking around i know exactly where i was too i was right off of the 16th street mall um and oh my gosh i just like kind of lost it and i was disappointed in myself because i was like this isn't what you're meant to be this isn't your environment and i could like hear my shoes clicking on the pavement and i was like this isn't what you want to be doing um this whole city thing's not your jam <laughs> How would you say that art therapy relates to nature versus the city? Yes. Um, okay, so for me, one huge part of art therapy that I think is so powerful with it is when humans don't have words for things, which we really like to have words for things right. usually. When we don't, um, art is there as an expression. And if you don't have words for like maybe some shame that you have, maybe the sadness or the emptiness that you have, you can put it down on paper and literally allow it to all exist on the same page. Um, and it's this non-judgmental form of just existing. That ties into wilderness therapy a lot. Um, and I love wilderness therapy. Um, where it's this non-judgmental form of you go out in nature and it really doesn't matter what your history is and what your past is and if you have the words for it or not but um, there's still the healing benefits of being out in nature. Um, and so, yeah, I think it really, it's like come as you are.